Hey everyone, welcome to Meeple Bits. Thanks for joining me today. In today's episode of Tabletop Simulator, we're going to go through the game Tiny Epic Galaxies. And in this one, it's the official DLC available on the Steam store. The cost as of this video is $4.99 US. This one developed actually by Berserk Games and Gameland Games. So links and uh, descriptions down below if this is the uh, add-on that you want to add into your next tabletop simulator game night. So stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome back to this episode of Tabletop Simulator with Tiny Epic Galaxies. I'm joined here by my table mate and we're going to go through and give you guys a quick rundown of the table elements and of course, what's scripted for you and what you, the player, need to do. As mentioned before, this is the official DLC available in the Steam store. So, as we can look around the table, we've got the main play area or a play mat, a set of dice, we've got the player boards, we've got a cool little tablet over here that also has the rule books available into it. Rule books around here, as, far, as well as uh, the mini expansion that's available for you. And then, of course, the player's box. Well, guys, let's dive in. And I've got some bad news about this particular version of Tiny Epic Galaxies. Well, nothing is done for you. You have to do everything yourself. So let's go ahead and take a look at what that looks like. So my table mate and I, we're both going to change our color by selecting our names in the upper right-hand corner. Choosing a seat at the table, I've selected red for this one as I, I don't know, just happen to do more often than I mean to. <laughs> now we can interact with the different elements on the board. But as you'll see here, we've sat down at the table. We're ready to play. There's a first player marker right here, but nothing has been dealt out. There's no uh, quick um, buttons for me to say, hey, we're ready to, uh, we're ready to play this game but nothing. So you'll need to definitely read the rules and understand what your setup is going to look like when going through the game. So over here on the victory point track, well, to begin, I need to go ahead and just move some pieces out of the way because there's only two of us in this particular game. So we both actually start with one victory point as indicated on our play mats. Oh, no, sorry. That comes after the first upgrade. Let me go ahead and move that back. So moving these guys kind of out of the way so that they're just not taking up space. Next, you have to deal out the planet cards. And again, per the rules, it's going to be number of players plus two. So I'll deal out four of them. And as you can see, I had to manually select them and then manually flip them. Next. The other thing that's going to be manual for all players involved is keeping track of your energy and culture in your empire, as well as your ships. Now, the ship navigation is going to be a little bit tricky, I guess, because as you know, when you select your ship and launch it into orbit, you're going to drop it on, say, a planet up here. But let's say you wanted to, instead of uh, land on the planet, you wanted to orbit the planet. Well, as you know, per the rules, you're supposed to lay it on its side. Well, to do that in this one, you're going to have to press the R key twice, and that'll lay your ship down. But as you move it around the track, it's going to be manually required by the player if you wanted to keep it, you know, uniform. You're going to have to use your Q and E keys to rotate and pivot the ship around the orbit if you wanted to keep it straight in the place on the planet. Next, if you take a planet, well, you're going to grab the card, bring it into your empire like so, and then manually return your ship to your galaxy. So again, none of these things are done for you, so keep that in mind. So let's go ahead and dive in. We're going to take a turn a piece just so that you guys can get a quick idea of exactly what I'm talking about as far as what is done for you and what isn't done for you. So I'll be first player. Here's my first player marker. I'm going to grab the dice. So I'm going to click and highlight all the dice available in the activation bay. Alternatively, you can control and then click the individual dice if you wanted to only select a certain number. But I'm going to go ahead and grab the dice, 
get ready. I'm going to I'm going to use the R key to give it a roll. I could shake the dice, but I'm just going to tap R a bunch of times to do a random roll. Now that I've rolled the dice, it's ready for activation. So I'm going to need to select which one of these I'm going to use. So I'll be able to say grab um do I have a rocket? Yep, there we go. So I'll drop this in there and the only thing that this does is it will rotate and center the dice in the activation bay as needed. So I'm going to do a rocket, and then once I grab my ship, I'm going to launch it and drop them, say, right over here onto this planet, which says acquire one energy. So I'm going to go ahead and acquire my one energy. And then, you know, one by one, and I know that I'm not supposed to roll all these dice, but one by one, you're going to drop all the dice into the activation bay in accordance to what you have. And then your turn is complete. Once you've resolved all your actions, then the next player can take their turn. So again, there's nothing keeping track of whose turn it is, you know, what you're supposed to be doing, what's already been done. And there's not even anything, you know, manually keeping track of, uh, or sorry, automatically keeping track of these scores. So my table mate, they're going to do the same thing. They're just going to grab the dice. They're going to give it a roll. And then they're going to be able to, you know, start to activate the certain uh, dice that they want to use. Like so. So once you've selected the dice that you want to use, drop it into the activation bay, resolve the different actions, and that's it. It looks like my table mate doesn't know to click into white space to unselect all the dice. So keep that in mind also on your turns, that to unselect all the dice that you have selected, make sure you left click kind of on some random space on the board to unselect all the dice that are chosen. So anyway guys, that's going to do it for this uh, version of Tabletop Sim and Tiny Epic Galaxies. So if you have any questions or comments about this specific version, please feel free to leave a comment uh, down below, happy to answer them. If you've enjoyed this video and you like the content, definitely appreciate the support. Feel free to give a like and subscribe. But until next time, guys, thanks for watching.